Welcome back viewers, Syndrome here with Breaking the Stream Gaming. Today I'll be continuing with my playthrough of Age of Wonders Planetfall Galactic Empire Edition. Now our empire on this planet is an Oathbound Empire. We've expanded up to five cities now, and we're currently at war with two factions, both of them to our north. So unfortunately for them, my armies are actually well placed to just start moving in and taking them out. So I'm going to start doing that, I think, in another turn or so. I'm going to deal with this uh, small anomalous site before I do that, but uh, we'll probably be moving against orange and then yellow. So our cosmic production is up to 45 a turn. That's basically going to let us make a an additional paladin champion every turn. Uh, we just need another one, maybe two more Cosmite nodes to get us over the threshold. So let's see here. Looks like Trotten can take another territory. Uh, why don't we start having that move into the ocean? Oh, <laughs> Algena has decided that uh, she no longer wants war with us. Uh, I'm just sorry, but she's already made her decision. Uh, let's see. Looks like we also just got another hero up to join us. Um, I really would prefer to have a, another Oathbound or even the Dark Lady herself join us. So I'm going to request another hero. Let's see. This unit, I'll go ahead and move up a bit. Uh, we have plenty of factions, so why don't we just uh, buy this off of them. And then we'll move on to this here. Okay. I'll definitely take the research into that. Uh, now let's see, where is yellow? Yellow is all up north there. Yeah, we'll, we'll just start sending troops directly up there. You know, I wonder if there's anybody willing to trade with us. Let's see. Bull. Doesn't dislike us too much. Uh, what do we want from her? We want Cosmite. How much Cosmite do we need? At least 20. Let's see if she'll accept that. And she did. Wonderful. That's going to let us make another unit this turn. We had still had sufficient production left over to just immediately produce it, which is nice. And we'll join that one up with the other. Uh, let's see. We should start production on some things here. You know, we, we really don't need that much production here, but uh, I like it, so I'm going to leave it as it is. Let's see. And yeah, we'll build a Xeno Relations structure. More influence a turn, never hurt anybody. And yeah, I kind of don't even want to deal with that right now, but we do want to get Autonoms up to integration, so we'll accept it. And we'll just have to build, I don't know, two champions? Yeah, two champions should be able to deal with that. Okay, minor research reward there. Um, I think that I'm not going to want to spend the time here. Let's just cut it open. Alright, decent enough reward. So, I'll take that. And that frees us up to move up here against orange. Uh, let's just meet up over there, I think. And then we'll just take over this water sector, because why not? We'll build another water exploit there, and we'll build an algae farm, I think. All right, anything else significant going on? Doesn't appear to be so. Okay, Superb Communion. Let's go ahead and get that out. So Superb Communion is going to allow us to generate both 20% additional production and research, as well as starting units with a additional two levels right off the bat. So, very nice. But now, we need to get stun modules. It 
Stun Modules are a extremely nice mod. Uh, they're going to give us an additional 30% damage as well as a chance to cause stun. Um, and even if stun isn't caused, then Static Charge is applied instead, which I think reduces Arc Resistance? Static Charge. Yep, it reduces Arc Resistance by one per stat. So in any case, it's going to help us. Um, research, uh, I really don't care about the forgotten at this point, so that's fine. Let's see, what else to build here? Okay, those two guys, uh, you know what? Let's come up here and clear out this node. I'll actually send my army back with that. Uh, three of them, is that really going to be enough? It probably will be. Uh, actually... Against that, they have a lot of anti-mechanical stuff, so I'm going to wait for the full army stack there, I think. Uh, let's see. This stack, though, is going to be able to move up here and take out this city. Yeah, nothing that stack is going to be able to do against us. All right. And we are playing the Oathbound, so I suppose that I'll absorb these cities. It's just to maintain the alignment. Let's see, 95 Cosmites, so we'll build one, and we'll wait until next turn to build another one. We do need to build something, though, so we'll do... Yeah, research, why not? Woo, that's a lot. So, generating energy or research, or knowledge, takes 25% of your production income and converts it into that resource. So, 25% of 170 is... Quite a bit. As for this one, what are they going to do? Let's go ahead and we'll just leave them there. Once we get another one or two, we'll send them down to take out that stack and then send them someplace useful. Looks like Celia is probably going to be going to war with us soon as well, but again, not terribly concerned about that. All right. Nope. Need some deals. I was expecting that. Well, I guess I know what this stack is going to be doing. Actually, that is a fair point. Let's see. Who is next up in line? I think that Twiggy here is going to head back down south, and he's going to take charge of the defense against Celia. She's got a decent number of units there, but it's going to take her a while to get over to the Morgul there. Uh, let's see. This fight should be simple enough. Mm, I mean, an extra unit... I don't need the money, but I also don't kind of need the unit, so... All right. Uh, yeah, let's head and bring the war to Aljena up there. Oh, 22 Cosmite. That's nice. That lets us queue up another unit. So both of those should be finished next turn, which will be rather handy. Get us back up to strength here. Yeah, whatever. Okay, our public support is up to Adori, which is further reducing unit production cost and unit upkeep. So what does it actually take to build these guys now? 134. That's, I think, as low as that goes. And their upkeep is only 6, which is nice. So, yeah, these guys are kind of terrifying. Oh, and it only gets better for you. Oh, uh, let's put Oracle's Guidance on the capture here. So that's going to increase our production by 20%, and our research by 20%, and our units are going to come out with two chevrons now. So that's fantastic. Let's see if we can get some more Cosmite. 
honestly, we'll take as much as we can get. So let's just say 100. Yeah, we'll give 800 for that. Oh, that's wonderful. Will she give us any more? Oh, let me show you something. Oh, man. Okay, I, I am loving that. Uh, all right, so... Oh, wow. They just spelled it immediately. <laughs> oh, man. That that figures. Oh, well. Um, not necessary, I suppose. But let's just go ahead and get three more in the queue there. So we're up to four here. Uh, yeah, so they can sweep down. Easily deal with that. And then they'll head over to Bemortalment. Uh, let's see, our leader unit, let's, let's keep them out of the fray just for the moment. Okay, where's the first city over here? Looks like it's, it's a ways up. And we've got some units there, so we'll go ahead and deal with them prior to advancing up our city. And we are down to... A significantly smaller stack than I had intended on having up here. That's actually a pretty nasty stack, too. Looks like three heroes and their leader. Or maybe that's... Yeah, three heroes and their leader, plus a couple units. Eh, we'll do it anyway. See how that goes. Yeah, no problem. Um, I'll just sell all of that. And let's see, that got us Warmonger as Engineer, so I think that gives us a racial unit. Oh, it gives a Watcher! Oh, that's kind of nice. I I like the Watchers. They're, they're not champions, but um, they're a pretty solid support unit. We're actually capped on our influence, so why don't we do a little bit of trading with the Autonoms. Let's see. AI Factory Overseers. Yeah, I'll take that. And, you know, monitors aren't bad. Hmm. Yeah, let, let's let's buy one monitor as well, and I'll send that up with the uh, that watcher there. So let's see, Sindra Pilot has attained yet another level. Um, our alignment is decent, so it wouldn't be a terrible idea to take Oracle's protege. It's going to go ahead and give us just one extra defense and five hit points, but that'll go up as our alignment continues to increase. Uh, let's see, Bale, on the other hand, he's definitely taking the damage ability. And what else can he get? Uh, let's take First Strike. We'll just toss out a couple of quick buildings there. All right, still not a hero that we want. Go ahead and conquer the city, though. Shouldn't be a problem. Uh, yeah, I think they're going to lose that. <laughs> but that is easily reclaimed. Okay, we'll get that stack in as close as Good, and we'll join them up with our hero. Uh, we, we do have another three champions that came out this turn, so we'll send two of them up north to support. And the last one, we're just going to send it west here to join up with that stack. We'll continue absorbing colonies. 
Yeah, I know that you want a truce, but uh, you shouldn't have started a war with us if that was the case. Uh, let's see here. Bail the pirate gained another level. Um, I think that I'm just going to leave those points there until I see something more useful. Okay. Oh, decision decisions. Okay, I think that we'll actually end up splitting this stack. So I'm going to send three up north to conquer Bendisk there. Uh, that is reasonably strong, and they are synthesis, so they might have some. You know, I take it back. Let's go ahead and send a fourth up there. Oh, that I feel a little bit better about. All right, and then we're going to set this stack here over to conquer this easier city. All right, let's go ahead and absorb these colonies. Now, they might be able to get to us, but I don't think that those stacks alone would be sufficient to take us out. Uh, let's see. Looks like Bale is going to be headed over the water here. So let's set. I'm sorry. Syndra is going to be headed over the water. Keep up our champion production. I think that as long as we have Cosmite, nothing else we should be producing. And our other sectors are just going to produce whatever they can build. Kind of unimportant at this point. You know, <laughs> they might as well build something defensive. Let's go ahead and build suppressor towers. And then improve infrastructure. Okay, that should be fine. I'm just waiting for them to move in and take the mortal since I can uh, can they see me oh they must be able to see what I can do because they're turning around and going home well that is not going to save them though oh we already have steam modules was quicker than I expected. We'll go ahead and research the last positron technology thing there. Ah, 1,000 versus 1,300. That might be kind of problematic, except I think some of these guys can only hit ground units. And yeah, let's see how it goes. Okay, we, we did lose our hero there, so that that was a little bit disappointing. Um, Luckily, though, it's very easy to research Dawn of a New Union. Ooh, are they going to try and take that one, too? Well, that didn't go nearly as well for them. Okay, so Dawn of a New Union, it'll take us two turns to research, then we can resurrect her. So, not, not a terrible loss there. Uh... Yeah, I think we're going to head back and try and take that city back. Let's see. The capital here, we're going to put Oracle's Guidance back up, which will probably be immediately dispelled again. Nope. Okay, and let's fast produce some, pa some paladins. Uh, let's see. Let's go ahead and send these up north. We did just take some casualties up there. I kind of feel like I should help out before dealing with orange here. Yeah, let's let's move in on yellow's territory. This will also give a chance for some of our support units to catch up.
we'll just do research here and look. And we're actually going to go ahead and start recasting Orbit's Guidance, because I'm sure it's going to be dispelled again at some point. Easy conquest there. We'll re attempt to absorb. And we'll move those Watcher Scrolls to the arsenal. Pretty big stack coming in from the south. Yeah, I think that. And we're dealing with enemies on all sides here. Luckily, we're taking far fewer casualties than they are. And as I thought, uh, Oracle's Guidance was already gotten rid of. Um, here we have a generic Oathbound Hero. I think we'll definitely accept that. Since she should start at level, nice, level 7. So we can start her with Advanced Mind. Okay, you know what? Since she is already here, um, might as well just give her all of the leadership abilities, I think, after the critical ones. Uh, the critical ones took up most of her points, though, so Air Commander it is, and Vitality. Let's go ahead and put her in a Paladin Champion, along with Horton Scrolls, and then we'll give her the standard mods. So the... Oh, actually, we have new standard mods now. Okay, so we'll give her the Beacon of Hope, the Stun Module, and Self-Repair Systems we don't have enough Cosmite for. Eh, that's fine. We'll just equip whatever on her then. And where are we going to send her? Yeah, we probably need more support off to the west, so we'll send her this way. She can pick up one of these champions there. Uh, let's see. That is triple stack triple stack versus our single stack that uh, that would be a little bit you know a little bit crazy of us to yeah we're gonna do it and you know what this one's big enough I think I'm gonna go ahead and do a manual combat on this one just to show how powerful these champions are watch as I lose Okay, so I'm going to set it to auto combat, and I'll set it to double speed. So the power of the champions lies in their area attack. It's actually so good, I'm quite sure that they're going to get nerfed in the first patch after Star Kings is, has been released. So I'm not particularly concerned about these embarked units, since, uh, well... They suffer penalties for being on the water. Uh, yeah, so it looks like we're just going to play it safe this first turn. I guess I'll turn it to triple speed. Man, their separating their forces is not going to work out well for them. It's going to let us take out these... Oh yeah, this is the Cyumbra hero. Right, so things are looking fine so far. We're taking very minimal damage. That guy might be in a little bit of trouble there. But we are doing almost 3 to 1 here, so I don't expect to come out of this totally fine. Looks like our units split up a little bit. That maybe not be the best idea, but uh, we'll see how it goes. Okay. 
Actually, no, our, our units are still looking quite healthy. Yeah, that area attack is quite powerful. Oh, and these guys don't even have the stun module yet. I have to give them that still. So I take it back. It looks like we will come out of this with no casualties. I didn't even notice that one unit in the back there, not doing anything useful. I'm not sure what they were thinking, giving Oathbound a tier 3 tanky damaging flyer with a teleport that does area damage. But I'm not going to complain. Okay, and I think that that makes a great way for us to end this video. So I will pick it up next time when I continue my war against the three separate factions. Take care. Thanks for viewing.